Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. My name is Junaid Shahid and in this video, I am going to explain you how you can work on existing database of WordPress and create entity models from that. In the previous video, we have migrated MySQL database to SQL and utilized that SQL database in this video and create entity model. And after that, we will create the code operations on the essential controller for the WordPress. We are going to clone WordPress website into ASP.NET Core and for that we need to decide which modules we want to clone and according to that modules we will create controllers and their actions to create their CRUD operations. So here is our application in which we need to install entity framework which is not already installed. You can right click here and go to NuGet package manager. And here you have to search for Microsoft Entity Framework dot SQL Server, which I have already installed in this application. In the dependency manager, you can check this. I have this library, Microsoft Entity Framework Core dot SQL Server. If you don't want to go for NuGet Package Manager, you can go for package manager console where you have to write dot net add this library address like this dot net add and address of this library as microsoft dot entity framework core dot SQL server and hit enter. It will install this library in your project automatically. Right after that the next phase is to migrate existing database to create models. You have to generate the models from your existing database you just need to do scaffold after this you have to write here scaffold db context name of your server then name of your database then make it true name of your library which is microsoft dot entity framework core dot sql server output directory models okay why we have write microsoft.entity framework core.sql server because it may be possible that you have multiple entity framework libraries in your application like entity framework 6 and entity framework core so you have to define which library you want to use to create entity models and the output directory uh, the output dir will help to uh, migrate tables entities into this path or this folder when you will hit enter uh, it will generate all the models here I have already done that here all the data whatever the database you have we have WordPress database and we are cloning WordPress to ASP.NET Core that's why I'm using this and here is the WordPress tables name by which we have created these entity models after this, the next phase is to open individual model and add key attribute or key data annotation to define that which is the primary key of individual model. So it will help us to generate these tables into our current existing database. By default, some primary keys are in decimal. You can change them according to your desire. 
I have changed them into the integer because I want this. If you have another uh, schema and you want to create another scheme, uh, scheme of entity models, you can generate string or decimal, long and whatever return type you are wanted. The next phase is to add migration in this here. So you just have to use add migration name that migration and hit enter it will generate a new migration snapshot here uh, in your data okay like this i have wordpress database migrated models so i have already created that from here you can suggest that which things are necessary for you and which things are not necessary for you if you will open that here you will found the information of table uh, the primary keys and so on things which are related to the database schema if you are agree with this the next step is to update database and hit enter it will generate a new table schema in your current database from this data snapshot like we have WP option which is already not available in your database then it will be available after database updation right after that it's time to create some controllers which I have already created but I am just letting you know uh, what is the sequence and the sense of these controllers okay we have dashboard controller home page post setting tools and user controller these controllers are created based on these entities like the post controller is based on WP post model now I will open this is a WordPress site which we are going to clone in ASP.NET framework .NET core framework and we have home post page appearance plugin user tool and settings we don't need to create individual controller for each of these but for the major component we are going to create controllers such as post and page and you can see here I have post controller and page controller if you are familiar with the WordPress backend structure then you have to know that WordPress used to store post and page in the same table which is WP post so we have used the same entity for both controller and now it's time to discuss about categories and tags such as if there is any feature which is nested like we have post controller and we have categories and tag then we will not use category and tag into the same controller we are going to create another separate controller which will help us to create individual code of categories and tags in this way only we can generate specific categories and specific tags remember that we are completely focusing on to migrate the WordPress Dito system in ASP.NET Core so we will follow this theme also we are going to integrate this theme into the next video we will go to the individual directories and copy their CSS and HTML the WordPress have a simple structure which you can judge from appearance when you go into the theme editor it will give you a theme and functions so you can easily get to know from where you have to use uh, CSS from where you have to copy uh, different things uh, you can Dito clone the logic of WordPress functions such as how they have created a repository pattern to show uh, title uh, and the post meta and the list of or the number of posts which you have to show on the blog or home page we can easily clone this in this video we just have covered the migration of DB2 entity models and then create some essential controllers. I have already checked in these changes into the uh, GitLab, into the online Git. So you can 
get that easily you just open this project and click on sync and you will get the migration after getting the migration you just have to run or execute this command only update database which will update your existing database and enable you to get the same code which I have right now I have created some CRUD operations with the help of entity model for post and pages which I can execute and insert some post but I am not doing that because in the next video we are going to view detailed uh, structure of individual controller we will create individual post and we will complete the individual page structure and we also clone the theme I hope you will like this video in which we have created entity models from the existing database if you have any kind of question you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe to the engineering projects youtube channel till then take care